Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this digital satellite receiver. It's by GT Media and the model for this one is VA Nova. Now there's two different kind of ones. There's one that's orange and there's one blue and they have slightly different model. Okay, so this is N52DS1B and that one is S10. So I got the B one. Now it does have a few good features built in and after I go through all the features I will also show you a demo so I will connect this to, to the TV and show you exactly how it operates like what kind of features it has okay so what comes in the box is a remote now this remote looks very similar to all the previous models like the V7S and a few other um, models that GT Media made they have roughly the same style uh, remote or maybe just just this bit at the top it was slightly different, but other than that, everything else is similar. Now it requires two AAA batteries to operate, and it has everything you need: so menu, exit, satellite, favorites. So you can put all your channels on favorites, and then it's easy to um, manage it, and you go through that. And then you got all the numbers there. You got the volume plus and minus. You got the mute button. You got on and off button here. You got the YouTube button, but there is, I did connect the Ethernet cable, and it also has Wi-Fi built into this as well. But for some reason, YouTube doesn't work. Even on the previous models, it doesn't work, and I, I struggled to actually figure it out because I've tried everything and it didn't work. So regarding the YouTube. If for some reason it doesn't work but everything else it works okay so let me go through uh, what else it has it comes with the user menu so if you want if you'd like to follow that it gives you more in detail features about what kind of features it has how to operate how to set it up it also comes with a HDMI cable as well and the power cord now this box is a lot bigger than the other uh, other models like the V7S it was at least like around here now this is quite big and quite chunky as well but as long as it has more features it's still it's still a, a lot compact compared to various other uh, um, satellite receivers that's a good thing now at the back you can see that that's where the satellite cable goes in it also has a HDMI port here so you, you can watch HD channels it has the AV ports there as well. It also takes a USB port, so you can also take a USB uh, a, a internet cable, a USB dongle, a 3G USB dongle, and it operates. It also has an Ethernet port, the power cord is there, switch it on and off button here. Okay, so that's all I can show you. And now it has a built in full HD 1080p resolution, so you can watch. Uh, anything in in that quality that's pretty good it also supports power power vu dre and bliss key it also uh, supports dlna sat to ip and also support uni cable as well it supports satellite epg it also has a built-in wi-fi it also has it supports ethernet cable so you can i think ethernet cable is the best option but if you don't have the option, then you've got Wi-Fi too. You can connect it directly to Wi-Fi. But you might have a few lags and buffering, etc. But it still works. The fact that it has Wi-Fi is good. On top of that, it has full speed. Uh, plus, you can use the 3G USB dongle as well. It also has a PV, it's also PVR ready. It supports web TV, IPTV as well. Uh, it also has CCC cam. It has YouTube. Uh, where there are a few problems with certain um, apps like those that's built into this because so, for some reason it doesn't work even if you have the ethernet cable connected there's, it doesn't really it keeps saying error so I'll show you um, when I do a demo testing of this uh, when it's connected to the TV it also um, has weather forecast Yahoo um, news pictures etc it also supports network sharing as well um, Encrypt is it has built in as well, and it has over one and ten thousand channels that you you can uh, you can scan through and get your channels, but it's built in with TV channels and radios, and um, that's programmable. It has various languages choose to choose from as well, so you can choose in various languages, and the picture format is JPEG, BMP, BN, PNG, 
and GIF. So these are the formats that you can use with this device. So that's all the features that this product has built in. Keep watching my video. I will connect this to the TV and I'll show you how it, how it looks and how it operates on the TV. Okay, when everything is connected, this is how it looks. Now, this is where the satellite list is. So when you click on that, bear, bear in mind the remote has to be facing directly to the receiver to work. If it's slightly towards the right or the left, it won't you won't be able to use your remote so you need to be facing it directly so these are all the channels so you click on select tool and then go scan and then you go full scan or you can do blind scan you can choose whichever one blind scan is like a quick scan and full scan it will go in detail and takes a bit of time so you go search and in, in the search mode it will take a bit of time that's where he finds all the TV channels, the radios, etc. But I'm going to quit that for now. Uh, let me just go back. Alright, so when I go back, there's a few channels already found. So you can see that this is how it looks. The one that has the daughter signs on it, that means they don't work. Right, and the ones that has it, doesn't have that are the ones that works. It's most of the free channels. So you go all that. Uh, let me go back to the main menu now you've got the antenna settings here you've got the TP list you've got a single satellite search multi satellite search this is more for the TV channels now if you go on the right you go your TV channel list a radio channel list you can put them on favorites there's IPTV there which you need to actually get a subscription for but you can get the broad one extreme is there I don't even know what the extreme is as well, by the way, because I haven't really clicked on that, but you've got, you've got that option as well. Alright, so I've gone back, I had to actually switch off the receiver because it was frozen. Alright, so that is a few downsides regarding that. So when it goes to let's search things, now you can't even go to IPTV. If you do go to the IPTV, you need a subscription, otherwise it will freeze at that um, downloading data bit, because I've done that a couple of times. Alright, so if you go right, you've got the USB storage and USB settings there. If you go on the right side, you've got the network configuration there, the network app, DLNA, SAT to IP, online MeV. Alright, so you've got Vimeo, Daily Motion, VR, and YouTube. For some reason, any of them, none of them actually really work. For example, we'll say this data error. Alright, so I've, I've tried everything, so I want to go back, you got the STB name settings there as well, settings, you got the languages, so we got quite a few languages to choose from, to be honest, or well, the main languages to choose from, so you can see that these are all the languages that you can choose from, you got first audio where you can change it to a different language, second audio you can change, subtitle you can change to whatever language that you speak, teletext, First EPG, second EPG, default EPG. Okay, so let me go back. All right. Now, it also has the AV settings here, where you can change the um, the resolution. And yeah, so you can put 1080i or 1080p. I just change it to 1080p right now, and that's the highest it can go. It also has the aspect rate, uh, mode as well, where you can put an auto, you got the audio out, you got the video effects here, you got the HDMI color space there. Now, if you go to lo lo local time settings and change your times there, timer settings there, it also has parental locks as well, so you can put that on. It has OC, OSD um, settings there and other settings. Now, in other settings, you got the panel LED bright, you got panel power off mode. You have the options to choose how you want it, how you want this to be operated. So you got the key actions, you got the power on mode, you got the device pop message, you got all these other features there as well. All right. Now, if you go on the right side, you got the information regarding this box. Keep pressing that. Then you got the factory settings here. You got the conditional access as well. So that's all the features that this product has. When it comes to um, searching for the channels, 
um, the satellite receiver, the free channels, they come easily and they work perfectly. I've shown you one of the channels anyways. Uh, so if I go back, you can see that it works. So you can see that it works fine. Uh, so it also has the op option for IPTV and all those other options as well, like YouTube and stuff. But you need to get a way to actually get them operating because I've tried my best. IPTV just need a subscription. YouTube and them should be working, but for some reason, all the other channel um, models that I've reviewed as well, GT Media's, the the YouTube um, YouTube doesn't work on those as well. Keep saying the error message. So if it doesn't work, they should just get rid of it. If, if it does work, they should make it work. So as soon as you connect it to Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable, it should be working straight away. But yeah, it's a brilliant box and I do highly recommend it. So thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.